Hi guys, welcome to Crazy Burger. So this is a follow-up to a video I done on Flea um, a week or so ago. Um, the demo I played at the time was an early demo. This is the more later latest demo, which you'll see there's some improvements in it. There's more of a level structure. There's actually the ability to talk to other characters. There's a couple extra moves. And you can see probably here, there is some improvements with the music and sound effects. So let's have a look at it. So, obviously the main part of it looks the same. You're the... Is it Henry the Hyperactive Fleet? And you can see right away, it's got a lovely little music going on. Same idea, you need to collect the blood samples. And you see this character is now interactive. You need to collect the blood for the Rufu fleas. And in turn you will get lives back, which is quite cool, quite important because at times your lives go quickly as per the first game. But the structure of this game is slightly different, you see, to get to this part it takes you straight to level 2. And then you go on. So again you need to collect the blood samples, avoid the spikes. <laughs> it sounds easy doesn't it, but oh, it's definitely not. If you don't time that right, it, it takes a bit of a, a strange mindset to make sure you jump at the right time or you'll hit the spikes. It does get fiendish as you go on. But I really, really do like this game. I think it's it's an excellent little it's kind of a puzzle platformer, a strategic jumper. Constant jumper as it's probably titled. This is from, I think it's uh, Low Tech Games or which I've got another few games on the go which would be interesting if we could see them as well in future cartridges. So that's the first sort of section complete. You can see you can interact with this character. Nothing really much here, just some tips to jump over. And you can see we are jumping onto a dog, <laughs> I think. Which is quite cool. So you see the structure's a little bit different, I guess this will be closer to the actual main game that we see. And from this guy you can donate all your blood samples and get extra lives, so now we have lots of lives. And boy, do we need them. So this game is going to appear on the Indie Heroes cartridge an arcade and it's going to be I think it's the end of May and I'll have to say this one is the mo one I'm looking forward to most out of all the, the games coming forward definitely it's got such potential to be probably the best cart yet I think that's my bold prediction uh, this is where the, the trickiness lies it's all about moving at the right time when you're sort of coming down rather than when you're coming up. <laughs> I'm going to lose lots of lives in this bit. Just once you get into a rhythm it's... it's fine, but yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> you can see the fiendish nature of it, I'm making this look hard. Two thousand years later. So here we are on level seven. Finally passed level six and lost lots of lives. So this is where a new move comes in. If you press the A button before hitting the ground to jump less. Which you see you can jump you just cut tip it at the right time and you can jump less, which is massively important. Oh no, it makes it even trickier. <laughs> oh my god. I tell you, this game is is going to test a lot of people, that's for sure. There we go. <laughs> Fiendish or what? Wow. So yeah, it's all about timing. But yeah, um, I think this game's brilliant, but it's going to be very frustrating at times, I think. But is it the game's fault? It's most likely your own fault. 
It was, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's one thing. You make a muck up at any point, you go all the way back to the start. So guys, I really, really do like this game and I'm looking forward to playing the full version. Hopefully it won't be too much longer now. You can play this demo um, right now. I'll leave the link in the description where to actually find it. Oh. Okay, so that's that bit done. We can go to the exit now. If you have zero patience, this game's not for you. <laughs> oh my. There's really quite simple controls. You're really just constantly jumping so you're not actually having to press the button to jump. Which kind of a makes it tricky, it gives a different sort of mindset on the game. Just head for the exit so we can see more of the levels. Ah! Right, so you. It's all about jumping at the right time where you're at the. Move at the highest part of the jump rather than the bottom. It depends, of course, what part you're on. Ah! My goodness! What a fiendishly difficult puzzler this is going to be. Yay, what's going on to the next level? Level 9. Ah. Right. Let's just do a small jump so I get rid of that. Ooh, just got past that. Ah! <laughs> what an amazingly addictive game, guys, but very frustrating. But this is going to be a cracker. Guys, thanks for watching the video today. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you again soon. Bye for now. <laughs> Bye, guys.